Hello, hello, hello. This is uh, Rug Detectives here. Um, so basically giving you another update. Today we're going to obviously discuss and before we do that, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and make sure you basically just follow t my tweet, my Twitter account, uh, also YouTube account. Do everything you can to be able to spread the word. We are going to take this whole crypto space, this industry by storm. And our ultimate aim is to eradicate scammers, criminals, rug pullers, exploiters, basically the, the whole shabam. Yeah. So I can only do this with the community backing me and we'll, we'll continue to push this forward. So there's been a, another update um, I've got for you. And this is regarding um, COVID protocol. And what they do is they're like a, a DeFi insurance. They provide coverage um, for uh, for companies. And as you can see here, this is their website. Um, what they do is they provide coverage and incentivizes market makers to fill the demand, so and so forth, blah, blah, blah. Um, but anyway, what happened was yesterday, there was a an exploit that took place. And essentially what happened was a hacker effectively minted an infinite amount of tokens. Um, and then essentially sold it, converted the tokens into ETH, uh, $3 million worth, and then basically burnt the rest and then actually returned the uh, same amount back to the protocol, which is weird because normally you get scammers or hackers that will set, essentially hack um, some code and then effectively take the tokens, then convert the tokens into ETH or into DAI, for example, or stablecoin, and then essentially then just take it out of the market and convert it into fiat. But what we saw here was a test from LP that basically did this and then actually in the sent the money back, which is weird. So let's just uh, break um, break this down further, how this occurred. So as you can see here, the response from this, uh, this hacker was essentially with a message, next time take care of your own shit, which was literally as a test to show that we can actually break into or we can hack your specific code, there's some problems. Um, and um, with this situation, uh, as you can clearly see from the code here, um, that there was some, some minting rights that were in place. And if we go to the exact code, we can be able to see more. So this is the code of cover. And if you take a look at the contract source code, um, you can be able to see here, there's a notice here, function transfer minting rights address. Uh, so this is the exploit that took place. And also is in addition to the, the rewards, the cover rewards that was, was there. Um, and there's a chap from Band Protocol, I think he's a CTO. He went into further depth about this. And he said the attack does four things. A deposit LP tokens to blacksmith contract, as I just showed you. You withdraw, they withdrew um, basically almost all of the LP tokens and they inflated the ACC rewards per token, um, which um, was here. And then thereafter, they basically deposited LP tokens again. Um, and then they claimed the cover reward to essentially trick the contract to mint huge amount of, of tokens. And this was obviously what you saw from the movement. And this was great finance. Um, that was essentially the LP that effectively quote unquote hacked um, to show what they can do. And then he went further on to say that there's, you know, concerns in terms of the memory of solidity, they make a copy. And then what then happens is the underlining storage um, will not affect the loaded data. And as you can see here from the pool, uh, the pool memory. And what you have to also um, remember is that this same issue, and if you take a look, um, once this actually occurred, just to give you a breakdown, the price was actually trading at around um we traded at around 870 just below that around seven eight hundred dollars and it literally crashed um and it got to a low of of about seven dollars or so before there was a spike up so people lost a huge amount of money um it was a bad situation if i can even show you one guy basically said um what the something i just woke up and basically had 100 ETH in this project, now it's worth two. So we can show how you can literally diminish and lose everything in the space of seconds. And this is something to be aware of. And I keep telling investors, traders, be cautious, make sure you're, you're um, taking a look at the code. If you don't have the experience, we look at the code for you. We're actually coming out with a checklist 
to be able to, as a roadmap, to be able to help you along that process. Um, but this affected what happened. And then um, there was a notice from, where is this? There was a notice from uh, Binance, which basically said that they were suspending um, the, the deposits and withdrawal from cover for that period this, this took place. Uh, so fast forward today, what has actually happened now um, that they're looking to, uh, Binance have actually come out with um, with sort of an update and they basically said they're delisting the cover um, contract and there's going to be a new one and then you're going to get the same amount but a snapshot will be taken um, for those existing investors, traders, so on and so forth. So I, I the block hasn't been confirmed but the ETH block will be this. So you probably, anyone that actually was in the position prior to this, the hack, would actually get a one for one ratio for the new cover. Um, and those that actually maybe decided, looked at buying the dip, for example, would not be compensated. So if you tried to buy the dip and you took a loss, what the situation is, uh, or buying, you know, falling life, as they say, you will not be comp compensated for that as of today, right now. So this is a huge situation. You have to also remember, in terms of um, COVID protocol, they were actually safe before. So there was another protocol, this protocol got hacked. So they went from safe to safe two, then it was converted to cover, and now there's gonna be cover two. So there just seems to be too much of a coincidence uh, of this taking place, and one really needs to be cautious and to be aware. So just giving you a heads up what's going on, that's the state of play. I'll give you more information as we go along. But be careful, guys, um, in this you know in this minefield that's taking place. So that's it. I'll be up, give you another update tomorrow with another another potential um, scam warning, advisory warning. But just be aware, guys, and I'll be releasing the rug detectives audit checklist very soon. If you're interested in that, please let me know, and it'll be coming out very shortly. So please do not forget to subscribe, to like, and to follow. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.